Um, the next thing we need to do, as you can see on the Myth TV setup page, is to configure the database. So we need to basically seed or initialize the database with a brand new Myth Converge database that can be populated by Myth TV when it's running. So I'll just copy and paste these commands in. So we become MySQL as the user root. Remember, that's the DBA admin of MySQL. It's not nothing to do with the root of the system. The minus P makes us request a password. You can put the password on the command line, but obviously that's a security issue. So we're in the MariaDB environment, and all we need to do is just copy and paste these commands. It's pr Again, you could probably do them one at a uh, all, all at once, but it's probably best to do one at a time just to ensure that the, you know, just to give you a chance to read the output to make sure the command executed correctly. And you can see, although I showed you before that the database wasn't working or apparently wasn't running, if I do is it quit here, yep. Um, if I show you again, uh, my SQL status it says it's not running when obviously in fact it is because we're connecting to the database and putting commands in so so there's probably something wrong there with the configuration so we've created the database myth converge let's now create a user and another one a local user with the looks of it set the password so you can see the password is going to be set to Myth TV for both these accounts. Connect to the database. And some privileges granted to both of these users. Flash privileges. And finally exit. So now we need to run this command here to create some time zone tables. So this password here is the password for the DBA admin. You can see um, oh no, it's I'm not sure actually, but it should be the password of the DBA that you type in there. Okay, so that I thought the minus P took a parameter. I might be thinking of Samba, maybe. That's obviously something else. It's not the password for that route, obviously, because it's not what I've set it to. But when it's prompting you, that is the DBA, the uh, DB admin password that it, it wants. So set that set up the time zone tables in the database. There's no errors, so that's good. Um... What we need to do now is to set up some paths for uh, Myth TV to use. Um, otherwise, it will complain that they don't exist or things won't work. And with some of these, there's no indication. It's not immediately obvious what needs to be done. There's no suggestions of what needs to be done. So, first, you need to decide where to put your recordings. Um, I currently have because I set mine up so long ago, the Myth TV wasn't set up as a system user, it was set up as an ordinary user, so I've got my recordings under Home Myth TV. Um, but as it's set up as a system, it's probably best to put it somewhere like maybe VAR Myth TV, um, possibly. And there may be better solutions. Um, I, I haven't seen anywhere that's suggested in the Myth TV instructions, but no doubt them there probably is somewhere buried away. Um, so that's what I'm going to do is to create a, I'm going to use the P to create all the directories as needed in the VAR hierarchy, call it Myth TV and call it Recordings. So this would be where all the files are created of um, the broadcasts that are recorded. Right, sorry, make the. That's better. So now we should have a directory 
under VAR called Myth TV, which is currently owned by Root. And under Myth TV, we should have a recordings directory. So now let's change the ownership of that directory to Myth TV video. So it's owned by or accessible to the owner, which is going to be Myth TV, and anybody that's in the, the video group. And we'll change the ownership of Myth TV directory and anything below it. Okay, what do I keep doing here? sudo that's better. So again let's check that far. Now Myth TV is owned by the Myth TV user and accessible by anybody in the video group. And likewise the directory underneath it. We'll also create a log directory for Myth TV. Um, now originally I put this in the log directory and created a Myth TV um, subdirectory off the log directory, which is already in var. Um, you may actually want to keep it in the Myth TV location. It's it's really up to you. So um, I'm going to have to keep my wits about me if I do it under the Myth TV directory because we have to set this up in Myth TV. Um, and if I put it in the wrong place, it'll obviously complain. So again, I'm going to do sudo mkdir full slash var full slash myth tv forward slash log. And I'll once again have to do the chone. I'll just do the chone on the parent again. So now if I look at myth tv there's a log directory to accept the logs owned by Miss TV and accessible by video as well.